Welcome to the indoor garden. The Aspidistra Aletior would be a very good choice for a place like that. It's one of our hardiest and most tolerant of low light plants. And this is it right here. Its common name is the cast iron plant. And it was given that name during Victorian times when most houses had gas lighting. And because the gas would sometimes escape from the lights, it was very difficult to grow house plants. But the cast iron plant would grow through anything. And even in these times, it'll still grow through anything. An excellent, excellent choice. And especially for you people out there who think that you don't have a green thumb, I highly recommend trying one of these cast iron plants. The cast iron plant, which is not a very fussy plant at all, still a little extra attention given to it now and then would be nice. And one thing it likes is to have its leaves dusted. Most of your plants can get dusty and the cast iron plant, even though it's sturdy, it still gets dusty. So once in a while, take up your feather duster and go ahead and dust off those wide green leaves and it'll breathe better and it'll take in a little more light and you probably aren't giving it much light anyway so it's a nice thing to do and of course you do want to water this plant now it doesn't need water very often especially if it's sitting in a fairly dark place but what you want to do is check the soil from time to time and when it's dry about an inch and a half below the soil surface and check a couple spots see how it's doing then go ahead and give it about a quart of water now if you do happen to have this in a bright place where it maybe even gets a little bit of sun then go ahead and give it two quarts of water and one other thing to note on these is occasionally they do get spider mites so what you want to do is check underneath the undersides of the leaves every once in a while and see if there are any mites there and I'll show you what I mean there actually doesn't appear to be any mites on this plant but you want to look right along the center vein especially and you would see like little tiny white specks kind of clustered on either side and if you start seeing that then get yourself right away to the garden center or your florist or someplace that has a good insecticide for your plants now every once in a while as a bonus, your cast iron plant may actually bloom for you. And it is one of the weirdest blooming plants I've ever seen. It actually blooms right above its soil. It'll get little purple cup-shaped flowers that appear right above the soil. It's very strange, and it may happen every once in a while. So keep your eyes out for those. And that's about it.